Señor Monk. Señor Monk. Señor Monk. There you are. Are you all right? You are a brave man, Señor Monk. You are not sweating at all. I'm dehydrated. I'm out of sweat. I want to sweat. I'm trying to sweat. Clearly, you were right, Señor. Somebody is trying to kill you. You must be frightening someone. But we don't even have a suspect. This isn't about the Chiprazzati case. It's about something else. What? I don't know. Maybe it's just a loco safado who hates people from San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? He's right. You, Chip Rosati, the boy last year who was mauled by the wild lion, you are all from San Francisco. The boy who was mauled is from San Francisco? Yes, from Marin County, from a wealthy family. And Chip Rosati's family had money. What? I got it. I know who did it, I know how, and I know why. You do? Get the car, we'll start packing, we're going home. What? It's all over, we're going home. What? When did the coroner, Dr. Matero, first arrive in San Macros? Wait, don't tell me. A year and a half ago. That's right. But what does Madero have to do with all this? I didn't catch it before. I'm so damn thirsty. Smell this. Menthol. Madero uses mentholated cream when he works at the morgue. Go find Dr. Madero and bring him here rapido. Plato. Come on, come on back. It's nothing personal. I just, I just gotta go home. I still don't understand, Senor Monk. Captain, the wild lion last year and the boy who drowned in midair, what do they have in common? I don't know. Both impossible. One impossible murder, maybe. Two impossible murders, it's just not possible. Car downstairs. Yes, I just called. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. my hair broke. Come on, oh. I didn't want it so sure. Two years ago, back in the States, I testified against a doctor named Luis Navarro. I remember that case. It was in the shorts. It ruined him. He lost his practice. His poor wife committed suicide, and he always blamed me. So you think this Dr. Nevada and your coroner, Dr. Madero, are one and the same? But, but, but why didn't you recognize him? I never met the man. It was a grand jury. Closed hearing. He jumped bail before the trial and disappeared. Excuse me, could we go first? I haven't had a well, thing to eat or drink in 36 hours. Hi, we're checking out. Uh, what room, senor? The room with the bomb behind the painting. Ah, oh, yes, sir. Room 403. Speak of the devil. Que pasa, Capitan? Dr. Navarra. I believe that's your real name. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about homicide, doctor. I was just explaining to the captain. Why you killed Chip Rosati? Capitán, usted no puede creer lo que este hombre está diciendo, eh? This whole thing has been about me from the beginning, hasn't it? About you? You wanted to kill me. You blame me for ruining your life by testifying against you. But you couldn't return to the States, you're a wanted man. So you had to find a way to get me to come to you. Uh, senor, would you care to check the bill? No, it's fine. You needed the right bait. A kid from San Francisco whose family had money and connections. If the murder was difficult enough and mysterious enough, you knew the mayor would bring me in. It's true, he's the go-to guy. You went to the Grande Lago Resort and you found Chip Rosati. He was a thirsty victim. Adrian. I mean, a perfect victim. His family was rich and well-connected. You sent him a letter with a coupon for one free skydiving lesson. But first, you made sure that his parachute would never open. Uh, shall we keep this on your cards in your mouth? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, shall I staple them together? I don't care, do what you want. Where's the car? It's coming, continue, senor. When Chip Rosati's body was brought in, the good doctor poured water into his lungs and announced that the boy had mysteriously drowned. He knew that the mayor often asked me to look into cases like this. Capitan. You cannot believe a word he's saying. Actually, Doctor, it explains quite a bit. There were some fingerprints on the parachute handles we couldn't match up. I'll be interested in comparing them with yours. You're leaving too. I'm afraid your impression of our town must be terrible. Will you give us another chance? Oh, of course. I love your country. Maybe you come back alone. Uh, you can earn some more necklaces. Why does everybody keep mentioning my necklaces? They're fiesta beats. What a fiesta beat. You don't remember how you got them? No. Hey, guys give them to girls at parties. Oh, what for? <gasps> oh, my God, why did you tell me? You wore 
them so proudly. Adrian! The car's here, let's go! Oh. So you're wrong. You said you ruined my life. That is wrong. You stole it. I made one foolish mistake. Nobody even noticed. Who the hell are you to point your finger at me? Who is he? He is a police officer and a damn fine one. Keep your eye on him, Lieutenant. He is a primary suspect on two homicides. Actually, three. Three homicides. Don't forget the boy he killed last year. Die! The wild lion? Exactly. He fabricated that, too. Only it didn't work, so no one called me. So we waited a year and tried again. All this because you smelled menthol cream on the curtains? I've been thinking about Madero for a while. He claimed he had never been to the United States. Then he said there was a pint of water in the boy's lungs. He didn't say half a liter, he said a pint. Only a person who practiced in the United States would have said that. Say so, I want to say it has been an honor to work side by side with such an accomplished detective. Yeah, it's like... It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out.